Hey, y'all, I got to pull the evil eye out for this one because the evil eye was out for me and that is for you guys as well who are experiencing people that have um, just ill intention towards you or just want to see you fail. So this one is for you that you got the protection, that you got all the protection in the world. You have nothing to worry about. And I wanted to stop in real quick to share my story with you to not only give you hope, but just to kind of let you guys know where I came from because Every now and again, I'll get a comment or a question that says, okay, how did you end up in this situation in the first place? Um, you're being pulled into a lot of conference rooms, so what did you do to deserve this? Or how did you bring this upon yourself? Well, I am here to give you the short version of my long story. And the story actually isn't that long, but if you have an opportunity, please check out my story, um, The Raw Truth. And I will have it either here, here, or down in the comments comment section depending on where you're watching this video where I actually just really break down exactly what happened um, in in longer form but I'm gonna make it short long story short the reason why I ended up dealing with workplace bullying abuse and mobbing in the first place um, all it all stemmed from a manager that I had who was romantically interested in a individual in my group who, um, I don't know if she was jealous of me or she just straight up didn't like me, but let's just say she's she was very incompetent in her job and I knew what the heck I was doing. And sometimes, a lot of times when people are, um, I'm not gonna say sometimes, a lot of times when people are incompetent or they have imposter syndrome, they tend to take out their issues or their frustrations on people that know what the heck they're doing. They take their frustrations out on the people that um, like them because a lot of people didn't like her. But my manager sure did like her. And so I'm trying to fix my... Okay. And so my manager by him... Let me, mix, let me fix this too. By my manager... Um, liking her he had to prove to her a point and um he wanted to show her that he was the man okay and so he came for me because she didn't like me and i guess i was in her way and so yeah it all boils down to a man who had a crush on someone he shouldn't have been having a crush on because he was married and she was married too and she used it to her advantage she knew that he liked her and so uh, she thought that was a way to get rid of me and instead of me working in a group full of leaders um and that department was a bunch of followers so because they had to cover up dirt because human resources was tasked to actually doing their job when he cursed me out and they didn't so you know how that goes you got to cover things up and so when you try to cover up the wrongdoings of a manager well the person that becomes the problem is the person that you're targeting and that became me so the next time someone wants to come on here, and um, because I do get every now and again someone saying, well, you must have brought this upon yourself, now you know my story. Um, not that I needed any validation, but I wanted to share with you guys how something simple as someone having a crush on someone can, um, this crush can crush someone else's career and eventually try to crush their lives because it brought upon so many negative instances in my life. It affected me with um, impact. It impacted my financial situation in terms of raises and such because I was denied raises. I was denied bonuses. I was denied opportunities to move up. And like I said, it just got to the point where it was too much and it affected my mental and my physical health. So I hope that crush was worth it because I understand that he's not there anymore. And let's just say that karma has her way of coming around and I can care less what happens to these people because I'm happier now than I've ever been. And oftentimes I wanted, and I tell people this all the time, things happen for a reason and life happens for you and not to you. So I hope this video helps someone out there and I hope this answers the questions that people may have had in terms of, was it me who was causing me to be pulled in the conference rooms? Yeah, it was me because I was shining too bright for someone who was in a low place. So I hope this helps. I am Kristen Peoples, the boss of culture.org. Bye.